All right, what's up guys, Zach here. I wanna share with you how to set up a welcome series flow. This will be a Clavio and Shopify tutorial for DDC Ecom brands. My name is Zach Schiefer. I'm the founder of CHS Ecom, which is an email and SMS agency that's currently helping our clients do about 2 million per month from these two channels alone. A big part of how we help our clients add revenue is through the welcome series. So let's dive in. A lot of our clients use Clavio as their ESP, but these lessons are gonna apply to any ESP. So in this video, we're gonna talk about what actually is the welcome flow, setting up the welcome flow in Clavio, making sure that you have a pop-up and footer form that leads into that welcome flow, as well as a newsletter main list. And then at the end, we're gonna talk about exactly what type of content to put in your welcome flow. Everything from the flow triggers, to the emails, to the conditional splits, what goes in email one, what goes in two, what goes in three, so on and so forth. All right, so background information, what actually is the welcome flow? It's basically the most important flow, if not the second most important flow in your Klaviyo account. So a lot of our clients are gonna bring in 20% or more of their entire Klaviyo revenue Clavio revenue from this flow alone. So it's absolutely essential that you nail it. Basically, it's a series of emails sent to new subscribers after they sign up for the list. So you sign up for the list, you get a bunch of information um, related to a discount or some sort of offer that actually got them onto the list in the first place. It welcomes them and introduces them to the brand, helps build a relationship. You can put in links to social media. You can tell them about your best sellers. You can tell them about different elements of social proof. And eventually the goal is to convert them into a first time customer. Number of emails, it's gonna be five to eight plus one email resend. Profile filters, all you're doing here is just uh, having placed orders zero times since starting this flow. So that means that if someone enters the flow and makes a purchase, they don't get the rest of the emails. How this works is basically, I'll go, it, go into it in more detail, but there's gonna be eight emails total. Six through eight are gonna be evergreen campaigns. You take your best performing campaigns that are not related to any sort of specific sale and you put them at the end of your welcome flow. But basically we talk about um, all the most important elements of your brand. So your best sellers, you talk about the story. You of course have some sort of welcome discount at the start. Uh, you could have a resend e e email here, um, kind of as that second step. So if anybody doesn't open the first one, you can resend it. Same email with a different subject line and preview text. You talk about the benefits and USPs of shopping with you guys and anything else that seems important. So you could throw in social media, you could throw in publications you guys are featured in, whatever makes sense to really introduce a new customer to the brand, you wanna put it in the welcome series. And then between each of these emails, it's generally gonna be one to three days between each. I'll go into more detail and I'll show you the exact flow structure that we use. All right, setting up the welcome flow within Clavio. Basically, you need to have a couple things in place first, and then I'll actually do a live walkthrough of how to do that in your Clavio account. So number one is gonna be a newsletter list in Clavio. This comes as standard. You might call this something else. It might be called newsletter signups or pop-up signups or email subs or whatever. No matter what, you just need to know like what's considered the main list. So you just need to have this one right here with, that's where people are gonna feed into. So you need to create that list. Second, you need to create a pop-up form. So it could be in Clavio. I, I would definitely recommend that as your pop-up software, or it could be another software. Either way, you need to make sure that pop-up form, when someone subscribes to this, that they're sending email subscribers into the main list. And then you definitely wanna have a footer form. So something like this is a great structure, but basically someone enters their email, it puts them into that main list. Again, we're keeping things extremely simple. We just have one main list where everyone's feeding into. Don't try and overcomplicate it, especially at the start. All right, so now setting up the flow, I'll do a little demo here, but uh, we wanna start by going into flows on the left and then creating a welcome series. If you already have one, you can of course access it here. If not, you go hit create flow. And then what you can do here is search up welcome. And you're gonna have a couple different ones here, but you basically, you wanna choose a very simple one. This is gonna be an SMS subscriber flow. Um, this one is gonna be you know, a little bit different than that. Final email discount. Let's choose, take a look at this one right here. 
And as we can see, the flow is gonna be pretty straightforward. When some, someone subscribes to a newsletter, they're gonna get email number one, it's gonna wait three days, email number two, wait four days, email number three, wait three days, and then if they've never placed an order, you can then uh, you know give them a discount. So you can do something like this, um, or you can just create it from scratch. So let's build our own here, and let's call this welcome flow test, and then we'll create manually. Awesome, and then you can go here and you're gonna to want to choose uh, basically getting added to a list. So we'll choose newsletters and then profile filters. We wanna choose this and what someone has or hasn't done. And then we can choose placed order uh, zero times since starting this flow. So that's this means that a person has never, I, they're gonna get an email if they've never placed an order since starting the flow, of course. So if someone does make a purchase between email two and three, for example, they're gonna exit the flow and they're not gonna get the rest. All right, so that's it, pretty straightforward. And then you can just go into here and you're gonna to wanna to add in your time delays and your emails. So first one, you don't wanna have any sort of time delay on this email. Um, you can have a time delay here, and I'll actually get into the, the structure of how to do these time delays, but you're gonna basically have email number one, time delay, email number two, and then you can kind of duplicate this or whatever you wanna do, um, but you can have another time delay. That's basically the structure, and then you can add in if you wanted to do some conditional splits. I'll tell you about one of those in a second on how to set that up. But overall, that's pretty much step-by-step -step how to set up the trigger and start putting in your emails. Um, of course, here you're gonna go here and you're gonna select a template or you're gonna create a blank email, whatever you wanna do. If you have a saved template, you can go ahead and do that at this moment. And then you wanna drag and drop your images and your content and your text and all that good stuff into here to really create that flow. Awesome, okay, so these are the steps again. Choose, you know, main list as the trigger. Now the flow set up. And you can add your own content, more emails, time delays, and splits. Now the actual content to put in your welcome flow. So we're gonna go through this Figma board. Pretty straightforward. Um, again, trigger. Place order zero times since starting this flow. Right there. You're gonna do welcome email number one. Overall, the goal of this email is to introduce them to the brand, say, hey, you know, welcome to the brand, make sure it's very visible what the code is. And you wanna give them a few reasons to stay on the list. So talk about exclusive discounts, first access to sales, things like that. You definitely wanna have some benefits icons to make it extremely scannable when you're reading. And then you wanna add in some social proof. So I recommend a little bit of social proof, not a ton, but maybe one customer review. You're gonna have a whole email that's dedicated later to just maxing out social proof. And then you can add in some best-selling products at the end. So you can use Klaviyo Dynamic Product Blocks, which recommends specific products for that person based on what they've seen. And then you're gonna wait one day and then conditional split. Um, this is gonna be um, email number one. You're gonna look at, has someone opened that email? So if someone hasn't opened that email, they're gonna go and they're gonna get the resend. If not, they're just gonna get skipped. So has opened zero times since starting this flow where message equals email number one. And then this code, you're gonna go into email number one here and you wanna grab the, the code. So just make sure it's the same name as this. And you wanna make sure that the message is exactly the same. So you can um, double check right here. And when you go into, um, when you go into like an email like this, this is at the top. Right there is where you grab the code. So you just need to make sure that for this message that it matches up and it has the exact same name. Awesome, all right. So moving on, once you set up this conditional split, this email number one resend is exactly the same as this email right here. It just has a different, more enticing subject line and preview text. Then you're gonna wait one day and you're gonna go into email number two. This is where you talk about the best sellers, three to five best selling products or categories. You wanna remind them of their welcome discount. And then you wanna remind them specifically that the discount ends in four days. You can talk about benefits and features 
that are specific to each of the products, how to select the best products for them, get add a little bit of social proof, add some icons, things like that. If you have an on-site quiz, this is now a great time to add that in. Email number three after a two-day wait is more about the brand story. So this is kind of the about us section on your site turned into an email. You really wanna build a relationship with the customer because at this point they haven't bought from you yet. And so they might be a little bit skeptical about where you guys come from and why you guys in particular. And then we have a one day delay. And then email number four, we kind of have a series one, two, three. Now four is the last chance, you know, expiring in just 24 hours. We want to add in some social proof, add in some UGC, talk about number of five star reviews that you have, show some before and after. If you have any influencers or if you're featured in publications or magazines, now is the time to max out on social proof. And then after that, one day delay, and then email number five. Now you're not pushing the discount because clearly that's not what's going to push them over the edge. You want to talk about the benefits of shopping specifically with you guys. So how the product's formulated, the ingredients, the fabric, whatever makes your product high quality. You can have a table of us versus your competitors. You can, again, still add in social proof and you want to tell them like how will the life actually improve after your products. Now the delays are more spread out. So we're going to do four days from now on and email number six is going to be an evergreen campaign. So just take whatever your best performing you know, email campaign that's evergreen over the last 365 days, put that in here. So, you know, not your big sale promotions, but just whatever has performed the best, that it was a generic kind of email that isn't specific to a, a time period. So you also want to, uh, if it makes sense, if you want to lead people to social media, add in a CTA to tell people to go to social media. Email seven, another evergreen campaign, second best performing email uh, evergreen campaign in the last, last year. It's gonna go in this slot. And then this slot right here is the third best performing evergreen campaign over the last 365 days. So in the end, this is the entire flow. We like to have a long welcome flow, generally five to eight emails, could be longer. I don't recommend going shorter, at least five emails, um, just because people that actually make a purchase, they're not gonna get spammed and because they're they gonna exit the flow. All right. So that was the video. If you're running a D2C e-com brand, you now have two options. You can try to implement everything that I just talked about yourself. You can kind of go through the trials and tribulations there, or you can just hire us to help you add revenue. So our recommendation is to check out our website, zhs-ecom.com and book a call there so we can talk about how to create a win-win partnership. Appreciate your time.